A24 has released their first ever blockbuster with Civil War. And I loved this movie on so many different levels. Here are going to be some of my light spoiler thoughts. Just starting off, I thought it was really interesting to cover a modern day American Civil War through the eyes of journalists. I think that's a very unique way to do it. And this movie, through so many of the action scenes and more like intense scenes, covers those through the eyes or the lens of a camera. And that was really unique. It really made the movie stand out. And just starting off with the characters, Kirsten Dunst, um, she plays like this hardened, more desensitized journalist after all that she's been through. And Kaylee Spaney plays this newer, younger, um, more optimistic type of journalist. And throughout the movie, these two go through so much together and really form a bond. And by the end, they kind of swap places and perspectives, which I think is really interesting to see how they did that. I thought they were both so good here. And Kaylee Spaney, I think it's interesting to note how different her character is here than her role in Priscilla, but her performance is just as good. I really think she has like movie star potential, and I hope she gets a lot more roles after this. She was so good here, and I hope people really start to acknowledge that more. Um, and the entire rest of the cast was really good as well. But I want to do a special shout out to Jesse Plemons. He had one scene in this movie and he was terrifying. He was so good in that scene. I jumped back multiple times because of his performance. And I really think what he was able to do there really deserves a special shout out. And this movie in general was so intense. Like, this movie was so intense. Like, I was on the edge of my seat throughout the film. And I think it's really interesting that it was able to do that without even being that political. I mean, obviously, it's a little political due to the subject matter. But it really just covered the impact that this would have on civilians and humans if a war were this like this were to happen in modern day America. And I think that was a really interesting way to look at that. It really puts you in the shoes of these characters. And I thought it was a brilliant approach and a really cool way to tackle that. The movie also has phenomenal cinematography. I mean, it's just a beautiful movie to look at, but it's also kind of like hauntingly tragic. Like so many of the shots, especially the way that they line it up with the music. I think it, it was really just so good there, especially the final battle in Washington, D.C. I mean, just the action scenes there are so good. Again, on the edge of your seat as you're watching these events unfold. And Alex Garland did a great job directing the movie. Um, I really hope he stops threatening to quit directing because he's such a good director. Of course, not just with this, but, you know, especially Ex Machina as well. He's such a good director. I just want to give another shout out to Kirsten Dunst's performance in this movie. Like I said earlier, her character starts off as so kind of hardened and desensitized because for so many years, she just kind of views these tragic and awful events as normal. Like she doesn't really even think about how terrible they are anymore. But as she kind of has to look over Kaylee Spaney's character, she really once again starts to see just how tragic these things are, and it really gets to her. I think that was such an interesting arc, and Kirsten Dunst's performance really brought it to another level. The film also has some really strong supporting performances from Wagner Mora and Stephen McKinley Henderson. They were both really good here as well, and I really want to shout out the sound design. I mean, the sound design and editing was another level here. I mean, it was so impactful the way they use sound and also the way that they use silence to really let us live in some of the moments. I loved how they did that. We also get some really interesting questions and themes that kind of make you think about journalism and these war photographers. Like, is it worth it for them to go through all this? And what does it do mentally? Like, what kind of toll does it take on them? Is it worth it for them to do all this? And also, is it morally right for some of these photos to be taken or some of these things to be done? Those themes are especially explored throughout Kaylee Spaney's character. And I really liked how we got a deeper look into some of those themes. It was really interesting to me. I also think it was really smart for this movie to not really be too political and really just show the human effect of a civil war that would happen because it gives it such a broad appeal. So many people can watch this movie now and understand no matter which side they're on why we can't let things get to a level like this despite the really high political tensions in the country right now it's a great anti-war movie and 
I think it went above and beyond what it needed to be. This was an exceptional film, an important film. It's my personal favorite movie of the year so far. So, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this movie in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.